Welcome back everyone to a brand new Armour 3D tutorial. Now we're going to approach a very sensitive topic because not many people talk about this. We're going to talk about score systems. That's right, score systems in Armour 3D so we can take there. I'm sorry. Take into account the score. In this case, it will be the distance that the character manages to go through. So to do this, we're going to actually add a scene trait. Now I'm already on the tab here in the scenes property panel here you're going to add a armory scene trait which is the same thing as you would do for a object property scene trait and we're going to select a UI which stands for user interface which is everything to do with buttons text and all that kind of thing so you don't need to do it in a 3D view and you can press OK just like you do with the nodes now the UI is called a canvas so we can create a new canvas we can keep the name we don't we need to change that and instead of editing it, we're straight away going to add a node-based system, which is going to be the logic for our UI canvas. And we're going to create a new node system and call it score. Okay, so we have my canvas, which we are going to edit. So you press edit, I'm going to bring it back into my main monitor. And as you can see, we bring up the armory to the editor which is uh, for user interface so we're going to add a text element which is going to be our score now funnily enough it sets it exactly where we want it and this property panel comes up automatically uh, which should come up automatically after a small delay so we can call this to um, score and we can set the text to 1 which is like a score value and later on we'll set this to zero but just be able to see the changes we make it's good to have a actual uh, text in there I'm gonna set this to a nice vivid red color but even yeah a nice dark, uh, bright red and we're gonna align it to the center so it's in the middle of our uh, object it's already anchored to the top left corner so on the device it will be anchored up there and uh, we can actually change the scale by either clicking and dragging here or pressing S to uh, scale it automatically like that. I'm going to set it to something like that, it seems good. And now that we have uh, the uh, display up and done, we can remove the text here, so the text is empty, and we can add our own score system later by controlling it with the nodes. So we can go into the scripts to add the nodes. And on the event, if we can call it something very uh, unique, such as 001. Uh, and um, remember the name of the object in question, which is score, because we're going to need to write that again without messing up the spelling. And now the most important thing is to click the save button, because if you don't do that, obviously, you'll lose everything. And now you can close it. And as you can see, we also have our score system that we just made previously. And in this score system, we're going to set up the system, score system. In this node trait, we're going to set up the score system. So we're going to need a bunch of nodes to start off with. We're going to need an inter, the bottom one, integer. We don't need to change anything on this node, but it's going to be the main controller for all of our other nodes that we will be adding right now. So now we need a timer, so we're going to check a on timer, make sure it's an on timer, not just a timer. And we're going to set this timer to 1, and we're going to check repeat. We're going to use a variable, so we're going to need to get a variable, set variable. We're going to plug these two together. As you can see, the blue, the red into the red, and the uh, dark blue with the circle, black circle in the middle goes into the other one with a circle in the middle. And now we need to do a bunch of math. So we need a math node, and we're going to add this down here. And we're going to plug this out of the integer into the bottom value one, and we're going to set the top value to one as well. And now this one value represents the amount of score that will be added uh, every time, every uh, one second, or every one unit uh, that the time goes on for. And we can plug the result into the bottom value of our variable. Now this may seem complicated and might not completely understand it. But now we are going to just continue and it shouldn't be too complicated because like I said this value represents the score 
and at the timer. It, it, it's, it's hard for me to tell you because I'm not a coder myself. But honestly, it's, it's not hard to understand once you've done it a few times. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to add a, um, well, we're going to add a canvas node so we can go to the canvas. And we need to set the canvas text, set canvas text to the actual score, uh, which was deduced by the math node uh, plugged into the variable. And it's updated every, every uh, unit, every time a unit. So obviously just plug the big red and so this is where the uh, text element comes very handy because we need to fill it in obviously the element that we want which is the name of the object that we created which we named score with a capital S now we need to set the text and we can do this manually by going one uh, which is you know for something like you, you died or or something like that on an event when the, the player's got no uh, life in the variable anymore when the variable is set to zero it will set like you died or something but in this case we're actually going to set the result of the math which is the score of the variable on the update of the timer uh, which will be updated so now when we run this you'll see that it should work and we should have a score and as you will soon see if I move this over here then we have a score system going on and we have our gameplay still in place and the score system keeps on going until obviously uh, the well forever really because <laughs> we have no limit to the player's life so the score system will constantly be going on until the end of the game until the end of life really until the end of time because there is no defining of when the score is going to stop. Now I'm going to uh, make a tutorial on how to make a pause button and as soon as I've done that I think I'll go on to the enemy because I've put it on off long enough. It's a little complicated but I think if you manage to do the score system then you'll be able to do the enemy. And uh, once we've done that then we'll be ready to add levels and add main menus and score systems and level selectors and block things and adds. That's right implementing ads we're gonna try it if i manage so please subscribe to this tutorial channel if you liked it if you didn't then why are you watching and uh well i have a game jam coming up so you can check that out link in the description and thank you very much for watching